Hi guys, so today is everyone's favorite, a client story time. Now I asked you guys in my last client story time if you guys were wanting like um, like what I've witnessed, even if they weren't my clients, if you guys would be down for me telling like other people's stories. And you guys said, yeah, so that's exactly what we're doing today. So go ahead and grab everything that you need to grab, take a seat, have a chit chat, get your car started, make sure your air is on, everything like that. And we will go ahead and get into the story time. Before I get into the story time, I do want to do a member shout out. So I completely forgot about it in my last video. So I'm going to be doing two member shout outs. And actually, these are two very special people as all my members are and all my subscribers are. But these two are particularly special because they're always interacting with me, always talking to me. So I want to shout out and say a special thank you to Anusha Anusha. I'm not exactly sure how to say your name, but I will put it up here. And Mel B, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for always interacting with me, always commenting on my videos, always messaging me on Instagram, and just being so supportive and just so amazing. As always, guys, I really, really appreciate y'all's support, especially right now because, you know, I just be going through it in life. <laughs> like every day is something different. And you guys just always send so much love and positivity. So I just want to say thank you so much. I love and appreciate you guys oh, from the bottom of my heart. So thank you. Now on to the video. This one here is a doozy, okay, because people never like any time I think about these story times and I think about how I'm gonna you know like tell y'all the stories and everything people never cease to amaze me if you think that somebody is not capable of something think again they are very much so because this one is wild so this was back when I was working in the salon and I was already there I was very comfortable I was you know taking clients and whatnot and there was a particularly slow day and this slow day there was a guy that came in and he had dark black hair and he came in asking just a few questions asking if we did men's hair and I was you know I was the one up front and I was just like oh yeah we do men's hair and he was asking if we color men's hair and I was asking him I was like yeah what were you thinking about doing and of course it was the dreaded gray now if you don't know anything about hair if you don't know how, anything about color gray is the absolute hardest color to do why you might ask because no one can dye your hair gray gray is a lack of pigmentation so what it is to get gray is you have to bleach your hair to get it to the blondest of blonde possible pretty much white and then dye it or tone it gray well it's really a toner the toner is the one that does it but to tone it gray so this guy comes in with pitch black hair it's just black and he's asking to get it gray so this is gonna be messy of me but there was another stylist he was a color stylist and he has put me in very you know sabotaging kind of situation so I was like um I could have very well have taken him I could have but this stylist we are gonna call him Greg Greg was also free and there had been like a little there hasn't been like beef but there was like you know a little tension there and he sabotaged me before so I was like huh this guy's coming in asking if we do it we do offer it he's asking if there was a stylist available to do it so I was just like yes yes there is Greg actually he is a color specialist so he would be the perfect guy to do this color for you so he was asking me some questions he was asking me how much it would be he was asking me all this other stuff and so I was like you know what let me go ahead and get Greg he's available and I will go ahead and have you uh, talk to him you guys can you know talk about what you want to do your goals all that stuff and then he can schedule you for a different day 
So that's exactly what I did. I get Greg and I was like, hey, um, there's a client here. He, you know, for a consultation, for a color, whatnot. So Greg takes him back and then they start talking about what exactly that he was wanting to do. Now, this is at the time, like this was a couple years ago. So this was when like Gray was like first on the scene. We were having like the guys doing, you know, the faded hair with like the gray look. I'll put some pictures of what, you know, the style was back at that time. And so he was pretty much showing him those kind of pictures. That's what he was wanting to do. And so Greg was basically letting him know, like Greg was trying to like get him not to do the color. So he was just like, oh, it's gonna take a few times. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna be expensive, you know, basically trying to deter this guy from getting this hair color. And we're gonna name this guy. So Greg is gonna be the stylist and we're gonna name this guy, the client Jim. So Greg is basically telling Jim like, oh, like, oh, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna take a long time. It's this, that, and the third. But Jim did not care. He was completely unbothered by it. He was like, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. For everything that Greg was trying to tell him, he was just like, yeah, that's cool. It's cool, whatever. And so we go ahead and once they finish their consultation, he comes to the front and they start to schedule when he's gonna come in. So when he's talking about this, Greg is basically asking him what's the day that he's available and Jim was letting him know that he's available at a certain time and it doesn't matter because he works at the nail salon down the street, okay? So he was like, it's not a problem, just let me know because all I have to do is like, I can literally walk and come back here so it's not a big deal. So they schedule an appointment and that was it. So once Jim leaves, Greg was basically like, oh my God, you did that on purpose. You gave him to me on purpose. And you know, I'm just, you know, haha, you know, nice, nasty. Like, oh, who me? No, no way. You're a color specialist. You got it. Like, this should be cake. This is nothing for you because that was one thing. Greg always wanted everyone to know that he was the best colorist, that he did everything and he taught everybody everything that they know and that he's this, that, and the third. So I'm like, all right, put your money where your mouth is. You're the best, right? So let's see what you can do. So the day comes that Jim was coming in to get his hair done. Mind you, Jim's hair, it was like guy, like it was longer than a regular guy's hair usually is, but it was still like faded. Like he had a haircut. It was just the top. He wanted it gray. So Greg comes or Jim comes in and he's ready. And so Greg goes ahead and takes him back and they start the process of the bleach. Now, I was kind of laughing because I just wanted this to be like a haha. -ha. I did not think that this was going to escalate. I didn't think anything of it. Like, yeah, it was kind of malicious, but it was also innocent in the same way. I didn't think anything was going to come from this at all. So as, you know, they're talking and they're doing, they're applying the color on Jim's hair, I'm noticing that Jim is very antsy. Like he is very much ants in his pants. Like every two seconds he was asking Greg like, oh, what is this? What is this gonna do? What is that gonna do? Da 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 Like he was just saying like stuff like that. And so Greg was noticeably getting annoyed. And so he puts the bleach all over like the top part of his hair. And immediately Jim starts like, oh, do you have a comb? Like my head is itching. Cause you know, guys, they're just, Guys just don't get it. They really don't get it. They want certain things that like women do, like getting their hair done. They want like the color, but they don't understand that it takes a long time. You get irritated, you know, that kind of thing. So Jim is like getting really antsy and he was just like, oh, I, I need a comb. This is, this is itching. This is not like, this is burning. And so when Greg was telling him, he's like, yeah, it's gonna like, you know, it's gonna feel a little irritated, but it's, it just means that it's working. But if it's like actually burning to where you can't handle it, let me know because then we have to rinse it off because then that means like you're having a reaction to the bleach. And so Jim immediately, as soon as like the color was like put on his head, he's just like, no, 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 like this, I, I can't, I can't like. So Greg immediately washes out the bleach because Jim was saying like it was really, you know, it was too much. So when they come back to the uh, chair, He's basically letting Greg know, he was like, oh, why, like, why is my hair, it doesn't even look like my hair, anything happened to it. And Greg was like, yeah, because we had to wash out the bleach. Like the bleach didn't do anything. You didn't leave it on long enough. And he was like, oh, 
well, I, I just, I still want the color done. And Greg was just basically trying to explain to him like, yeah, you can get the color, but if you can't handle the bleach on your head, then I don't know what to tell you. You can't handle it. So Jim is basically, I don't know, like I, I want to do it. Like I just, can you put the, can you redo it? Because I still want the, I still want the color. Like I still want my hair to be gray, but like I'll, I'll handle it this time. Like I'll, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll, I'll sit through it. So Greg obviously is getting very annoyed and he reapplies the bleach on his head. And so now it's no longer about his scalp being irritated because that's another thing. It's one thing for your hair to be itchy and a little bit, you know, irritated because it's bleach. It's not supposed to be on your scalp. It's not supposed to be on your head at all. But it's one thing for that. But it's another one like you can visit as stylists. We know like we can tell when it's a reaction because, you know, the scalp turns red. It starts, you know, getting crazy. So that's kind of where we use our discretion as well. So while he's already put on the second time putting on the bleach, Jim is asking him every five seconds, how, how much longer? How, how much longer? At this point, Greg put uh, foils over his head to keep in the heat and so that way it would lift lighter and faster and so every five seconds Jim was like lifting up the foil and being like how, how much longer do you think is it going to be any longer like how much longer um do, do you think it's lifting is it working and Greg just kept reiterating like hey it has to sit for like a while like your hair is really dark it has to sit you can't keep lifting the foil because if you keep lifting the foil, I remember distinctly, he was like, it's like baking a cake. If you keep opening the oven, the cake isn't going to bake. So you need to just like let it sit, you know? And he was like, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. No problem. No problem. That's fine. That's fine. And so Greg is getting noticeably upset because also normally when your color is processing, the client can just sit down and, you know, just wait until your color is done. It's usually about like 30, 40 minutes. And the stylist is either, you know, chilling in the back, chilling in the front. You're pretty much just chilling if they don't have another client. So Greg was, you know, taking this time. He was taking a break, sitting down. It was like not next to the clients, but it wasn't like in the back room either. And Jim constantly kept getting up to ask Greg, like, do you, do you think it's time now? Do you think it's time now? Should we set a timer? Should we do this? Should we do that? And he just kept being really antsy with Greg about his hair. And so Greg is basically letting him know, like, hey, I told you it needs to sit on your hair. If you keep lifting up the foil, it's not going to lift evenly. It's not going to lift enough. You have to let it sit on your hair. So at this point, Jim settles down for a good like 20, 30 minutes. He's calm now. He's, you know, on his phone, letting the color sit on his hair. So now it's time to, you know, check. So Craig goes to check Jim's hair and he like, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but like he just takes a piece of the hair, takes some of the uh, lightener off just to see where the color's at. And he lets Jim know, like, hey, it's going to be a little bit longer because your hair is taking a while to lift. Because mind you, he started with jet black hair. So Jim is like, wait, it, we've been sitting for this long and, it, and it's not done. You're, you're still not done. And Greg was like, no, I'm just like, it still needs to sit for a little bit. And he was like, well, it, it's OK. We can just wash it out. If, like, if it's already lighter, like we can just go ahead and wash it out. So Greg was telling him like, it's not gonna be light enough for you to go gray. It's still not light enough because like I said, it has to be almost white. So Greg is letting him know like, no, it's not light enough. And so pretty much Jim like is insisting. So they're kind of like going back and forth. So finally, it's time to shampoo his hair out. So like Greg told him from the beginning, it's going to take multiple times and it's going to be like a process to get you. It's not going to go from jet black to gray in one sitting, just like it would for anybody else, right? With dark hair. So when they come back to the chair, he is looking at his hair wet and he's just like, wait, this isn't gray. This isn't gray at all. And so Greg is basically letting him know, like, yeah, I told you it's not going to be great. Like, it's, I told you it's not going to be that way because you're going to have to come back, like, and we have to, you know, 
keep getting it there. That's why I was letting you know, like, it's not going to be exactly how you want it the first time. So Jim was just like, oh, okay. And you can just tell the pure disappointment after the back and forth of him letting him know that he's not happy, that it was supposed to be gray and it's not gray. And they kind of had their little back and forth. But ultimately, he was just like, oh, okay, like, whatever. So he goes to pay or whatever he pays and then he leaves so almost immediately after he leaves he calls the salon and my manager was there and she answers and he's basically letting her know that he's really disappointed with the results he's not happy with it and he wants to know like what they can do so my manager offered him to come back and then for them to do a redo. Now, Greg was already mad because he was like, no, it's not a redo. It has nothing to do with the redo. He's just mad that his hair didn't get light enough even, you know, after he explained the whole situation between him and Jim. And so my manager, because you know how she is, she still let him come back to do a redo. So the next day, Greg comes back First thing in the morning, he comes back. And so, or no, Jim, what did I call him? The next day, Jim comes back and it's for the redo. And Greg just, he's not having it. He doesn't care. He's so like over it already. And so he just goes ahead and just puts more bleach on his hair. He was just like, whatever. If he wants it gray, let's make it gray. So he starts putting bleach on his hair now at this time too the card didn't go through like the payment didn't go through and i'm assuming he did like a chargeback or something so it came back to the salon that it didn't go through the payment did not process so while he's like sitting and processing my manager was letting me know she was like oh yeah i have to let him know that he has to pay again because his card didn't go through so he's sitting there he's getting his hair done and he's getting, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of like the same back and forth that it was the first time, a little bit more tame, but it was still definitely like that same back and forth, back and forth of like, oh my God, my hair is not the same way, this, that, and the third. So finally he gets back and it was gray kind of, it, it, it didn't look good. Like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, it was not like, it was still very it was not patchy but low-key like you could tell some parts took more gray it was like that gray yellow blonde kind of thing going on it was not what he wanted at all and i do get i get like both sides of it where it's like it's not what he wanted even remotely close to what he wanted but at the same time like Greg did tell you this was not obtainable you were not going to be able to get it and then on top of that you were very difficult you were interfering with the coloring process so yeah it's kind of a lose-lose for the both of y'all however it was finished he didn't like it he made it known, he was very upset about it, but he went to the front and he talked to the manager. And while he's kind of like saying his disgust for his hair, the manager was also letting him know like, hey, by the way, even though this specific service today was free, your card didn't go through for the initial service. And so he basically was like, oh, I don't have my wallet with me because I thought this was going to be free. So I didn't bring my wallet. I'll have to go get it. It's down the street at the nail salon that he worked at. Okay, <laughs> this is where it gets juicy. <laughs> so he told her, he was like, I'll be right back. Let me just go get my wallet at the salon. So my, I don't know why. I feel like it's always a rule of thumb, like even in restaurants where you have to leave some sort of collateral, right? Like if you're going to leave without paying or you're going to say like you need to go get money or whatever, you need to leave your phone. You need to leave something. I've seen places that like you leave your shoe, like something like that where it's like you need, I need something that's going to verify that you're going to come back. My manager, I don't know if she thought because she knew where he worked or if it was so close, she like didn't think 
anything of it. So Jim leaves. He goes about his day. And as obvious, I thought this was obvious, he never came that day. So she kind of figured that she was like, oh, he probably forgot. I don't know. I don't know how as like a manager, you don't just automatically assume the worst in people. And so she was just like, okay, like if he doesn't come back today, I'm going to call him tomorrow. So tomorrow came and she calls him and she's blocked it immediately it didn't answer at first and then it just goes straight to voicemail and so i was letting her know i was like yeah he blocked you girl like you're not that number's not gonna go through he blocked you that's just that on that you're not getting through to him so what she does is she calls the nail salon and she asks for him and so she calls him she's like hi can i speak to jim and because they don't know what the call is for they think it's probably you know for a client or whatever they give the phone to him and she was like hey jim it's so and so from the salon and i'm just letting you know like you still haven't given us the payment like you needed to come back you said you were going to come back and you still didn't do it so he hangs up on her <laughs> immediately hangs up on her when she says her whole spiel he hangs up so greg was like okay well i'll call on my number and like since i'm a guy like i'm just gonna do it again so they call again and when they called the second time they asked for jim and they were like oh he's not here right now so now you guys see where this is going it is a case of like you want to play phone tag like you know whatever so then now it's at the point like they're pretty much blowing up the salon's phone so they started talking to the woman so whoever was on the other line of the salon now mind you this is now a salon event like all of us all the hairstylists are like surrounding the front desk and just watching this all go down so they called the nail salon again and so the lady that was answering the phone was basically working as like the middleman and so she tells our manager she was like hey please stop calling like i don't know what's going on but like you know he's busy he has clients or whatever so my manager was like yeah i don't care he got a service here and he's trying to like run off the bill like run off on the bill and so they're going back and forth so the lady on the phone is now like working as like his attorney and she's like oh yeah he doesn't want to talk to you and he's not gonna pay because he feels like you guys didn't do his hair right and so i don't know why my manager is you know even entertaining this idea like i'm not talking to you like and put this man on the phone but she's just talking to the lady that's talking to her on the phone and it's basically like well we let him know that it's gonna take a couple times and it's like a process and then the lady on the phone was like well i have friends that do hair and they were able to do their hair overnight like it was just right like they were able to do gray in one sitting and they did their whole head and they were girls like they were able to do it and so now it's at the point like my manager is going like back and forth with them and I'm just like, this man real life just does not care. So basically the conclusion of that conversation was Jim got on the phone because I guess he was hearing, you know, the back and forth. And he said that he didn't like it. He didn't, the hair didn't come out the way and he's not going to pay for it. And they need to stop calling the salon. And that was that. They were just like, yeah, that... That was it, and then they hung up the phone. So we're all just sitting around this like, he real life just, he told you to go like F yourself and get out of here because he didn't like the way you did his hair, and that was it. And so obviously Greg is getting paid off of commission. So when you steal services, goods and services, you don't get paid for it either. So it was just like a big thing between him and the manager because he was like, oh, like how, how are you able to like let him go? You, now it's kind of going on the blame game where it's like, oh, well, why did you let him leave? Why didn't you stop it? Why didn't you do this? Blah, blah, blah. And the manager was just like, oh, like that wasn't my fault. And so I'm just sitting here like, so what are we going to do about it? It. like he kind of just ran off are you gonna let him get away with it or what so basically my manager did like a non-emergency like the cop call or whatever basically saying that like he stole and so like she called the like non-emergency police and so they went and basically it ended up just like 
it started off like she pursued getting the money from him because not for nothing as well it was like a men's color so men's colors are significantly cheaper than women's and so he was just getting paid he was getting like charged for the product so in the grand scheme of things it wasn't as expensive as a woman's color like it wasn't that expensive so it was like one of those situations where it's like are you really gonna try to like go to court for like what a hundred bucks kind of thing so they tried to pursue it but all in all jim got his hair colored and he definitely ran off on the bill successfully and he yeah that was pretty much the whole thing he came in asked for something and didn't get it and didn't pay and nothing happened to him there was no consequence i think my manager ended up leaving like a bad review for the nail salon or something it was like something petty like that but after that greg kind of like it was always like a playful tip for tab but i definitely got my get back on him even though i didn't intend for it to go that far i didn't feel bad about it i didn't feel bad about it i still don't feel bad about it but i just think it was kind of funny i was like <laughs> You got finessed, you got scammed, and he definitely got you, and I got my get back back. So, yeah, that was the time I set my coworker up, no. But, yeah, that was the time this dude just stole goods and services. Um, I don't recommend doing that because that is terrible karma, but in the grand scheme of things, yeah, you can pretty much get away with it. So, do with that information what you will. <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this story time i hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week i am or rest of your day and week i guess i'm so tired out i've been recording videos if you haven't already check out the membership where i do also exclusive content over there if that's something you're interested in so yeah with all that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye